took me six years to learn this one color grading secret and I'm gonna show you everything in this video and to make it even better I'm not using any fancy softwares I'm actually just using CapCut to color grade this footage and imagine if I just use CapCut and color grade better than you <laughs> I mean Imagine if I just use CapCut and Color Grid is so good and I will stick around because I'm gonna show you the entire process of how I color grid everything from the phone footage to DJI Pocket 3 to S-Log 3 so from the phone footage to the mirrorless camera and if you watch the entire video I will also share with you the LUT that I created from this session and you can just download and use it for free so without further ado, let's get started Let's just talk about this one secret, the basic of color grading. The reason why a lot of people spend so much money to buy LUTs everywhere. But I think not a lot of people in the internet actually talk about this subject. One of the most important things to make your footage stand out is to use color wheels. Now there's two common types of color wheels. The first one is primary and then the second one is log wheels. You always want to start with the primary wheels because that will make your footage stand out already. Generally speaking, we want to make sure the color look nice but at the same time is natural. So the first thing that we usually pay attention on is the skin tone. We want to make sure the skin tone look natural. And most of the time the skin tone would be in the middle gray of the area. And you want to put the skin tone into more of like orange, yellowy and red area. And since we put the middle gray into the orange, yellow and red area, then we want to bounce back to make a contrast of the blue tone, the teal, the cooler tones, right? And the best place to put those is probably in the shadow. So then in the primary wheels, we got the contrast of the skin tone orange in the middle gray. And then we have a blue and teal tone on the shadow. And it creates a very nice contrast. And it's been using a lot in Hollywood. It's called the orange and teal color grading even though just by doing that the color grade looks kind of nice but it doesn't look really professional yet because if you look closely on the black area like when you are wearing black the black is not truly black because now you added the blue and the teal and so the colors look a little bit immature so one of the ways to fix that is that you're going to use log wheels so basically on the log wheels you just use like a contrast color so then it bring the black to true black uh, basically the red the green and the yellow uh, graph is in the same line that will make your footage very professional that's the basic of how you do it let's take a look on CapCut all right so we have three types of footage here we have a phone footage we have a DJI Pocket 3 footage and we have S-Log 3 footage right here so iPhone nowadays also have Apple Log and I would encourage you to use that but in this footage I'm not even using the Apple Log this is just the standard color from the iPhone so the first step we're gonna go to is is log wheel right here and I'm gonna start with the primary wheel I know that I want to push the middle gray to orange, yellow, red to make the skin tone stand out and I want to balance it with the uh, blue and teal on the shadow. So I would like to start usually on the shadow and I would push it into the cooler tone um, like this and then now I start bouncing back with orange. Yep, that looks pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, and then what I do now is that I want to go into I want you to see this graph, right? The color graph right here. So now after I do that, I need to look at the color graph real quick. And you can see here that the red is really far lower on the darker area. Uh, and the blue and the green is still high up. So that means if you look at the footage, um, there's a lot of blue and green in my um, in my shirt right here even it's a black shirt but it's very very heavily on blue and green so what we're going to do is that we're going to go into log wheel right here and we're going to balance that back very simple here just by doing that and if they are in the same line that means the darkest part should be black the color is equal between blue green and yellow that means it should be dark black so yeah after we do that you can see it's a lot more natural uh, sometimes i even push the middle tone and lock to even bring out the skin tone a little more it already looks pretty good in my opinion uh, but sometimes i could add a little bit of s curve right here and after i added s curve like you can see that now the blue green and yellow is not in the same line uh, so what i would do is i maybe even like mix it with the lock a little bit to make it look good yep so that's pretty much it i think it looks fire this is the before this is the after so yeah basically that's the orange and teal color grading as you can see the the skin tone has been pushed a little bit more contrast look really good let's look into dji pocket 3. so dji pocket 3 has d-lock footage 
Uh, same with S-Log3, Sony camera have log footage. Usually with big brands like DJI or Sony, they usually have the LUTs that transform from LUTs footage to Rec 709 and you can download it online for free. Uh, and I would do that, right, for DJI and Sony camera. Uh, but basically what it is, is they can transfer the color from LUT color to more standard color that have been used in TV, YouTube and broadcast. And uh, from there, it's easier for you to color grade. So over here, I already downloaded the LUTs from DJI Pocket to Rec 709. And just by doing that, I mean, it looks quite cool already. Now we start color grading. Again, it's orange and teal color grading. So what we're going to do is go to color wheel and we will start with primary, right? And again, I will push the shadow like I always do uh, because it's just easier to see if it look good or not by just seeing the shadow to me instead of start with the middle gray. But now I can start pushing the middle gray to the skin tone. Um, as you can see in the graph right here, the red is too strong uh, in the darkest point. Uh, so we want to go back to log and balance that out. So in the darkest area, it has to be equal between red, blue and green. So the black is going to be the true black. Again, I might push the skin tone a little bit on log as well. Look at in the bright side, if it's not, if not, it's not truly white. And I want to be a little bit more white, so I could also do that. Balance the log on highlight to make the bright side to be more of, more white than before. So that's pretty much it for this one. You can see the before and then the after. Cool. Obviously, you can go into H HSL and you can start playing with like different color too. Uh, like this, I do that a lot. I usually play with the green a lot because that's one of my favorite color to, to mess with. Last one, let's look into AsLog3 footage. It's Sony. Again, the first thing you want to do is download the Sony LUTs conversion. Basically, I shot a lot with AsLog3, so I would look for the AsLog3 convert to Rec 709 LUT. And yeah, you get it for free on Sony. Um, and then you just put it here so then it's easier for you to color grade because it's basically already transformed your color from LUTs to Rec 709. From S-Log3 to Rec 709. Okay, so now I have a conversion LUTs on. Uh, it looked quite good, but I can see that the highlight is a little bit too bright. Seems to be a bit overblown, so I will change a little bit on the wheel here. So again, the first thing I will play with the primary wheel, uh, the shadow to the cooler tone like blue and teal bounce it up with some middle gray right here and now we go to the log wheel as you can see here this red green blue is not in the same line so we want to we want to make sure we can bounce that so at the darkest point it should be equal i can see that the darkest point is not the most darker so i would put make it more darker right here sometimes middle tone could add a little bit more or sometimes I play with middle tone and go the opposite way, right? And that would work as well. Um, now I would go into HSL. I would play with a little bit of green. Like I always do. A little bit more orange. Here we go. Yeah, it looks good to me. Uh, it's orange and teal color grading. It looks natural to me. The skin tone looks fine. Um, there's all, of course, there's a lot of other things you can do on top of this. You know, HSL is one of them. You can change the specific color. You can also have the mass of changing a certain color, a uh, certain place of the video. But that's like a lot more advanced and it's easier to do that on DaVinci Resolve than on CapCut. However, from just CapCut, and we can actually build a really nice color grading. Like you can see before and then after. Pretty cool. The most important thing you have to understand is the concept and it's all lay on the color wheels. And because the skin tone is usually in the orange, yellow red area you want to push the middle gray of the primary wheel to that end and then you want to balance it back with the shadow of blue and teal to create like a contrast but then the black area of the footage is a little bit more blue and and teal then at that point you go to the lock wheels and then you just balance it so that in the darkest point of the footage that the yellow the blue the green graph is in the same line so then the black is a true black so that's basically how you do it how you color grade the footage from the beginning to look quite professional i would say again i'm not a color grade professional but still like just by the look of it i think that this could be in some of the hollywood movie what do you say since you already watched this point i want to share with you this gif and you can literally just download lots this lots that i create from all of this three footage 
on the description below. You can just literally go in there, just click zero on the checkout and you will get all of these LUTs for free. Also, if you like this video, make sure to check out this video as well. And I hope this helps. Talk to you soon.